Here we are booted into a uh, live USB of uh, MX Linux and this is going to be MX18, I believe it's .2, um, one of the newer versions and when you boot in you're going to get your little welcome screen. Um, they do have a forum, you can have videos to watch, you can install codecs from here, there's a tweak panel, tools, they have a, a pretty good little welcome screen. Um, we'll go ahead and get rid of it. And uh, I did install Simple Screen Recorder. Everything's working. My uh, USB mic's working. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, a pretty good distro. They put the XFC panel along this left side over here. It's a little different than normal. Uh, normally, you'll have it along the bottom. But you can see how they put the panel. And, uh,. I would go in here, like always, if I was going to run this, and I would configure it to go ahead and switch so that when I open it, it would look like this. I like to have like the categories left and then the subcategories right. It just makes it a lot easier. Um, we go through, if we lift this up, so we can see what's... Uh, What's going on here? Let's bring her up pretty high. Go and click on all. You can see they have quite a bit of software installed by default. I mean, there's just about everything you'd want. Uh, GW package installer. You got a firewall, Firefox. You got your file manager, um, which in this case should be Thunar. They have HTOP in here already. You got your full LibreOffice. Um, uh, quite a few things. There's MX Cleanup, Kodak Installer, Conky, which is uh, this little deal up here in the center of the screen that gives you your system information. And you can change that all around. I mean, there's a lot of different Conkeys you can run. Um, they got a package installer. If you don't want to use Terminal, you can go ahead and, and open the package installer if it'll let me. Um, now uh, let me see. I'm not sure if it'll let me or not. Yeah, that was the password. I'm good at guessing, I guess. But uh, yeah, there's a package installer. And you can do popular. Say you want something audio that's popular. This shows you some popular audio, uh, like Audacious, Audacity, which I like, Spotify. Um, then they have stuff from the stable repos, which it'll install. Here's all your stuff from stable repos. Here's your testing stuff. If you want to run uh, Debian testing, and this is based on Debian. And then uh, there's Debian backports, which you can install from. So we'll let that install. You can see there's newer packages here. You can even do flat packs. They have it set up right here. Um, yeah, you can you can even install flat packs if you want, um, which that's become a popular option. Your uh, flat packs, snap packs, some other package managers like that have become kind of popular because they work cross-platform. Um, but yeah, here's a lot of flat packs you can install. Um, there's Clementine on a flat pack. If you don't want to install it direct, you can do a flat pack. I mean, tons of different things here, flat pack. But uh, it is a pretty good distro. It's, it's fairly stable. Like I said, it's based on Debian. So you're going to get all those solid Debian packages. Um, you can go ahead and go into desktop settings. And uh, like I said, it's this basic XFCE. If you run XFCE, then uh, you know you've seen some of these different different desktops that they have here. 
there's a nice wallpaper right there you know we can open that back up and uh, I mean let's say you want to go with something that's uh, more nature oriented I mean there's that so you know I mean this is quite a few quite a few wallpapers there's a pretty one right there yeah that looks real pretty that looks like some of the sunsets we get out here over Phoenix but uh, you can configure your wallpaper from here uh, let's say you like to have a your, your home and your trash on the desktop well there you go I mean it's just that simple put your home and trash maybe you want to make them a little bigger you know let's make them uh, 50 so you can do that or if you don't want them there you know I like to have removable drives on the desktop in case I plug something in of course I don't care about network shares so I can uncheck that but uh, you know yeah it's just it's it's a beautiful distro it runs good I ran it for a while uh, of course I moved the panel to the bottom which you can easily do and uh, set it up the way I would normally run it but uh, yeah MX Linux yeah, don't be afraid of this and this is definitely a good one and uh, we can go ahead and get let's see where their information there should be one on information see if we can pull info um quick system info I don't think that's it this is just basically telling uh, telling us what I'm running this on as far as my system and I don't know if I can make that bigger or not nope can't really make it any bigger but uh, you get two two desktops right here down at the bottom you have your you can eject drives there's one of my little cats here wanting to talk what are you doing a little bit what's the matter yeah all my cats they love to talk to me whenever I'm on the computer um, here's your uh, file manager and it's going to be Thunar which uh, it's kind of standard for your XFCE you can go in here and go to view, you can zoom in, do that a few times, make them bigger so you can see your folders. And you can change themes and everything. I mean, uh, there's this whole deal here where you got your appearance and uh, file manager. Like I said, Linux is, is kind of universal. I would get rid of that where you move it to the top and it wants to, to do a full screen. I don't like that. I would rather just have it be where it's the size it is, and then I adjust it. Um, there's MX tweaks, which you can tweak stuff here. And there, I mean, they just got a ton of, ton of software. MX tools, real good stuff right here. You can go in and uh, let me make this bigger. Catch that edge catch this other edge you can do snapshots say you get your system set up the way you want it you do a snapshot of it and it'll preserve it there's a cleanup to help keep things clean you can make live USBs if you need NVIDIA drivers to run your NVIDIA graphics there it is here's your Conky manager there's a repo manager to, to do your repositories um, if you ever have issues with your GPG keys, you can fix them right here. Codex installer, so you can get all your codex installed for your videos and everything you need. But um, yeah, this this is another really good distro. This is going to be one of my what I call a golden nugget distro. Um, like I said, I've run it. I've never had an issue with it. I just really don't care for the, this kind of menu and and stuff anymore. I'm not real crazy about XFCE anymore. Um, I really like KDE better, but a lot of people still like this. They would still rather uh, still rather run something like this. And you see you got VLC installed, Clementine, there's all kinds of stuff installed, internet, you got your Firefox, transmission to do your bit torrenting, um, graphics, you got the GIMP, games they actually give you quite a few games too 
Um, you've got your Isle, Isle uh, Riot, that's your Solitaire games. Chromium BSU is kind of a side shooter, it's pretty interesting. So uh, if you're looking for something that's going to be rock solid, run real well, be stable, and you like this kind of menu, uh, give MX a try. Go ahead, download it, put it on a USB, boot to it. If you like what you see, go ahead and install it. Just click the installer, it'll walk you through everything. So, uh, like I always say, either we stand up for our rights, or we can sit by and watch them go away. You all have an awesome, uh, awesome rest of the evening. Uh, go check my other video on this channel on MX when I install it. I think you'll find it interesting. Have a good one, folks. We'll talk to you later. Tennessee Frank, out of here.